Oh, down here. I can't see what you're doing. Yeah. Okay, we got it to work. Okay, cool. I don't see it yet. Oh, well, do you see it? Uh, all right. Yeah, you're good. Hey guys, we're going live in about 10 minutes. We're just making sure it works. And it does work, so this is exciting. All right, I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Um, should I hit the X? Um, Up top? Is there a pause? Um, Everyone can hear you on the live stream, by the way. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Should I hit the X? No, I'll just leave it. Just don't mess with it. It's working. So just rock and roll. Okay. All right. Bye. You can chat with people in the comments right now. Oh. Just keep it up. Hey, Kristen. <laughs> Good. Everyone wants to see what's going on. Okay, cool. All right. Bye. Thanks, Ian. See you. Bye. So we have eight minutes, guys. If you want to set up your own music, go ahead. I have a lot of yoga playlists on my Spotify channel, so feel free to use them. Um, I'm not going to play music just so that you can hear me really well today, and that way it can be nice so that it's, there's not any distraction. I also suggested a small space heater. I'm not going to have mine plugged in just so, again, you can hear me. There's no sound in the background, but if you'd like to set up a small space heater next to you or wear some layers so that way you're nice and warm and sweaty for today's practice, I encourage you to do that. So, seven minutes and we'll roll.
All right, guys, how are we doing today? Um, this is Princess Minnie, who you've probably seen before if you follow any of my social media, but she's very excited that it's St. Patrick's Day and to be here and flow with you guys today. Um, this is gonna be an hour vinyasa practice, so if you need to modify things, I'll offer those options throughout. This video should save so you can do it later as well and share with your friends. Um, she might, you know, talk to us during the video here and there, meaning she might bark. So I um, figured that you guys wouldn't find that. But it's 9.28, so in less than two minutes we'll start. So feel free to get seated, get your mind quiet, start your music if you want to have music. And then also feel free to have your space heater set up and your layers on so you stay nice and warm. Sound good? Yeah? Oh, thank you. We just went running, so she's a little tired. Let me take those off you now. You're such a good girl. Good girl. If anything, by the way, isn't working and you can't hear me at any time, I'm gonna keep my phone right here. So just shoot me a message if something happens, only because I can't see you guys talking on the um, iPad right now, just the way I have it facing. All right, all right, no lick. Jump up here, come on. Come on. Good. So we'll get started in one minute, guys. So welcome to our St. Patty's Day flow. So happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. If you're on the West Coast, good morning. It's very early for you. If you're on the East Coast, this is the time of my regularly scheduled yoga class at Yoga Works in Federal Hill that's currently closed. So I wanted to go ahead and bring you guys that same practice right here. If there's any point today, again, you wanna take a break, please do. I'll offer many modifications during this flow so that way you feel good and you feel strong and you feel well. So. Again, if you weren't here earlier, I introduced Minnie. She's hanging out behind me, and um, she could bark throughout this, so I'll try to keep her quiet. But anyways, let's go ahead and start in child's pose. I'm going to go ahead and set my watch just so I have a timer for us today, and I know where we are during our practice. So as we sink our hips back to our heels, extend your arms forward and lower your forehead down. And just connect to your breath and allow yourself to inhale and exhale slowly. I want you to feel good with your own body. I want you to find your breath. You're gonna inhale through your nose and then you're gonna exhale out of your nose and down the back of the throat. Let's do that twice more. Inhale through the nose, nostril breathing. Exhale out of the nose, down the back of the throat. It's your ujjayi breath. You've heard it called that before. One more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. I want you to slowly allow yourself to gaze forward. You're going to press into your hands. Raise your head, elbows, forearms so your fingertips are rooted down. And you're going to get long here through your spine. Good. From this action, go ahead and ground the palms. And then you're going to inhale. Bring the pelvis forward and down and then just kind of pull your chest through. So a very early cobra pose, just kind of moving side to side. And if you're real tight and you're lower than me, that's totally fine. So again, arms can be bent or straight. And then we're just gonna exhale, bring those hips back. Arms are long. Good, forehead down, child's pose. Inhale, forehead up, look up, lift the bottoms of the palms, get long through your underarms. Exhale, ground the palms, bring the pelvis forward, and then again, feet are down, so pretend like your shoelaces are pressing into the earth. Bring your chest up. Let's go ahead and curl the toes from here. Lift up the thighs, squeeze and firm your glutes. Exhale, use your butt, use your core, press back to downward facing dog, or we're just gonna pedal a little bit left and right. So as you drop one heel, you'll notice my other heel is elevated. You're just gonna kind of move through those feet side to side. Now there'll be parts of this practice that are really challenging, parts that are easier, so I want you to kind of do what you can when things get tough. 
Good, exhale, pause. And then we're just gonna roll forward to plank pose, engage your core. And we're just gonna extend our hips back to dog. One more time, inhale, forward, plank pose, chest forward. Exhale, back to dog. Go ahead and walk your hands back to your feet for me so you're in a forward fold at the back of our mat. Bend your knees some, take your hands around your calf muscles and pull your chest to greet your thighs. Shake your head from side to side. Good, we're gonna roll up to stand for the first time today. So as you come up, bring your head up, raise your arms up to the sky. And then exhale, bow through heart center. Take a nice flat back, inhale to lengthen out your spine. Exhale as you walk your hands forward, high plank pose please, chest forward. First chaturanga, so drop your knees if you need to. Lower, and then inhale, up dog or cobra. The difference in upward facing dog is that the thighs are elevated, so the only thing on the earth is my palms and the very tops of my feet. Exhale through down dog. And then let's go ahead and tiptoe up to the top of our mat this time, and we'll take a forward fold here. Again, hands come behind the legs just like they did the back of the mat and fold in. You're gonna inhale, ground through your feet. Please rise to stand, take your arms up high. And then exhale your hands down by your sides. Bring your feet together so that they're almost touching if you can. And then inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, soft knees, fold forward. Take a flat back and lengthen out your spine. And then we're gonna take our left foot and step it back. Hands to hips, inhale, rise into a lunge. Bring your arms up, high lunge. So you're bending into your front knee. You should feel your knee moving forward in line with your middle toe and your spine is long and flat. Look at my back leg, it's nice and straight. Maybe offer a slight bend if you'd like to, it gives a slight tuck of the tailbone. Take the hands around the body, hold on to your low back and then support yourself into a back bend. Good. Exhale, bring your chest forward, bring your hands down. Use your fingertips as we start to straighten our right leg. So if you happen to have a block or water bottle by, feel free to put your hands on that as well, so that way you don't feel like you can't do the pose. And if you can't fully straighten the leg, that's fine. Go ahead and exhale, fold. We're gonna bend into our right knee, turn our left hand slightly out so there's no tension in the wrist, raise the right arm to twist. As we twist, try to get those shoulders one on top of the other and then hug your right inner thigh into your torso. So don't allow just the pinky toe edge of, pinky toe edge of the foot to have the weight. Really press through your big toe. Take one more big breath here, release your palm down. We'll step to plank pose, top of our push-up. Exhale, lower chaturanga. So option one, drop your knees and we're gonna come right back to plank. All right. We'll do that one more time. So go ahead, lower chaturanga, come right back to plank. Good, and now this time we're gonna lower all the way down to our belly. So you can untuck your toes there. Tops of your feet down, slide your hands back. Inhale, bring your chest forward and up. Take your shoulder blades, squeeze them together. Use your feet, guys. Press down as your chest comes up. Take your time, exhale, lower. Bring your hands along your sides, tabletop, hands and knees. Press back through child's pose, get a nice stretch in your low back or early in practice, and then inhale, tabletop, hands and knees. Come into your first cow, so you're gonna stick out your bum, lift your chest, gaze up. Exhale, tuck your chin, round your back. Feel the curvature in the upper spine. From here, exhale, curl your toes, lift your tail back, downward facing dog. Gaze to the top of the mat, your choice. You can step, walk, or jump. So if you're gonna jump, you're gonna bend those knees. You're gonna look forward. You're gonna bring them up and then forward. Lift halfway, and then we'll take our forward fold. Back to standing together, inhale, reach. And then we're gonna go right into our forward fold, exhale. Take a flat back as you lengthen. Again, right foot back this time. Keep the knee elevated. Make this leg hard. So if you guys step and the leg already looks like this, drive the heel back behind you. Front knee is bent, line it up, hands to hips to come up. So as you come up, you'll feel this front knee start to move slightly forward. I want you to use your hand right here, press into it. That activates your adductors, your inner thighs. So don't let that knee fall out the whole practice. 
Inhale your arms up. Exhale, soften this back knee a little bit so it's a slight tuck and just breathe. Take a nice long spine here as you gaze up. And then exhale, take your hands around. Hold on to your low back again. And then again, back bend. So bring your heart, bring your chest forward. And then exhale, bring your chest down. Turn your right hand, or excuse me, start to straighten your left leg. And then exhale, just pull back. So notice I'm on my fingertips here. Allowing myself to have a bit more room. It makes my arms longer. Or again, use your blocks and then fold over the front shin. As long as you're maintaining breath, you should start to feel warm. So forcing yourself to breathe in and out through your nose creates that internal heat. And then you can, from there, challenge yourself to keep your heart rate down. Bend your front knee forward, back heel again. Keep your legs straight, right palm down, turn it out slightly. And we'll raise our left arm for a twist. So as the shoulders stack here, squeeze your inner thighs towards the midline, get nice and long, turn your gaze up if your neck allows, and just breathe. Holding here for three, two, and then slowly release your hand on one. Exhale to plank pose, top of our push-up. So you have two chaturangas down to the belly like before, so feel free to drop your knees. Exhale, lower, press. Drop your knees if you need to, lower, press. And now we're gonna come all the way down to our stomach. So very slow and controlled. Hands back behind you, palms down, tops of the feet down. Really press into your palms and bring your chest up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, press down to your shoelaces, bring your chest up more. Now this is a place where I really want you to close your lips and find your breath through your nose. And then take one more and then lower down. <laughs> Hands along by your side. You're going to press your chest up and back. Child's pose. Breathe in and out. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Hands and knees. Inhale. Find your cow. Exhale. Find your cat. There was not a sound, so I don't know why she barked. Anyways, let's go ahead and curl those toes and press it back to dog. So you'll notice I have a wall right here. I have a narrow row home. So when I raise my leg up, I'm gonna go bent knee. But if you can go straight leg, do that. So inhale, right leg up. Good, reach it to the sky. Exhale, bring your knee forward, touch your chest. Good, inhale, bring your right leg up and back. Exhale, touch your right elbow. Inhale, bring your right leg up and back. Touch your left elbow. And now inhale, bring your right leg up and back. And then please step forward. Again, we're coming up to crescent, bringing the arms straight up. Squeezing the inner thighs in towards the midline, getting nice and long here in your pose. And then exhale, take the hands back like we did just now in that locust pose and bring your chest forward. So engage your stomach muscles, press through your back heel, and as you hover your chest over your leg, this right hamstring should start to work. Holding here for three, two, bring the hands down. Everyone take your right foot, slide it back to the middle of your mat, bring your hands flat in front of you, and now raise your left leg up, standing split pose. Again, blocks under your hands, bend your right knee if you need to, and then just reach and lengthen your spine. You're here for three. We're gonna step to chair pose in two. Lower your left foot to meet your right. Good. And then inhale, chair, so bend your knees, arms up. So it's just like a squat, except in yoga, we hug those legs in. So if you already know that, you should already be there. Squeeze in as you reach up. Pull your hands down to heart center as you breathe in. And we're twisting to the right. So triceps gonna hook the thigh and you rotate. Now, most of you know the modification. If this is too deep of a twist, you can always be here as well, which makes life a little bit easier. As you twist, as you turn, try to sink your booty down and roll your chest. I'm trying to pull my chest towards my thumbs as my gaze and my shoulder rolls up. You're here for three. Squeeze your legs for two. And then inhale, come back to center. 
and then fold forward on one. Good, breathe in, nice long spine. Come all the way to stand. Back bend as your arms come up, and then exhale your hands down by your sides. You're gonna pull your right knee to your chest, take your left hand outside of it, and then start to turn your body. So you're gonna see my head is trying to stack right over my hips and my bottom foot. As you turn your body, take your back arm behind you and then keep turning. Hold here for three. Lift out of your bottom leg for two. And then as we come back through center, you're gonna bring your hands to your heart and you're gonna take your right leg straight back behind you for your first warrior three. We're standing on our left foot. Good. Now take your hands all the way down. We're gonna hop our left foot to the back of the mat. Ready? One, two, three. Hop. Bring your right knee to touch your nose. Just how we started the sequence, reach up. Bring your right knee to touch your right elbow. Reach up. Left knee to touch your left elbow. Reach up. And then exhale, come forward to plank. Toes are hovering. So this variation is much harder through chaturanga. Drop the foot if you're like, heck no. And then inhale up and exhale back. Nice job, let's go left side. So again, I'm just gonna watch the wall and the paddle board reach up. Take a nice big stretch, keep that leg high, point or flex your toes, pick one, knee the nose. Good, inhale, reach up. Left side. Inhale, reach up, use that breath guys, exhale, right side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, step forward. Squeeze your inner thighs again. Inhale, come right up, crescent. Reach, so settle in. Ground your front foot like we did on side one. And then exhale, take your hands along your sides and bring your chest forward. So this is easy, right? I have a lot of room from my thigh to my chest. This variation puts a lot more work in this leg. You're here for three. Try to just isolate the body, freeze right here, two. And then lower your hands on one. You're gonna take this left foot, step it to the middle of the mat, so slide it back. Ground your palms, raise your right leg to the sky for your first standing split on your left leg. Good. Now take a big full breath in here. Breath out. And then exhale, bring your right foot to meet your left foot, bend your knees right away. Fingertips are touching the earth still, and then bring your arms up for chair. So your hips are reaching down and back. Pull your hands to heart center as you breathe in. Now we're gonna twist to the left, rotate. So as we twist to the left, look to the left side of the room, or if your neck allows, slowly turn your gaze up. As you sit down into those hips, squeeze your legs together, use your lower body. Three, rotate and breathe. Two, and then inhale, come back to center, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Good, halfway lift your spine, pause. So this pose should be challenging because you're lifting your stomach up, come all the way to stand, and then release your hands down by your sides. You're gonna raise your left knee up for me, so stand tall, pull it into your chest. You're gonna take your right hand to the outside of your leg, extend your left arm back if you can, squeeze your inner thighs together. Try not to pop your hip out to the side so you fall. The focus is this leg being straight. You're here for three, two, and then as you come through center, we're gonna bring those hands to heart center, extend back with our left foot, our right foot is on the ground. It's called warrior three pose. You should feel like you're a capital T, your chest is lifting, your leg is reaching back. Take another big breath in. Lower your hands. Exhale, take this right foot, ready? One, two, three, jump it back. Exhale, knee to nose, one. Inhale, reach it up. Left side, two. Reach it up, we got one more. Right side, three. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. Good, exhale, come forward. Now keep the toes up, it's called an art of plank. It's hard, or put them down, lower. Inhale up, 
and then exhale, we go to dog. Nice work, guys. Take a few breaths. Separate those feet. So your feet are wide, your heels are down. So in order to do that, get your hands a little bit closer. So I've shortened my down dog. Now I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna reach for my right leg, and I'm gonna twist. So if you can't grab your leg, you can always hold your thigh. If you're real bendy, get underneath of your foot and twist like this, okay? You're here for three. Turn your head if you can for two. Stay in down dog, you're not in a forward fold. And then release on three. Good. Side two, reach across underneath if you want and rotate. So this should feel really nice if your back is tight. I know a lot of you are out for runs right now with everything going on. So you're trying to get your body outside in a new environment. So I kind of feel that tight upper back from a little bit more running than normal. Good, release your hands. Exhale, keep your legs wide. Walk it back, bend your knees and roll up slowly. Now we're gonna turn our toes out. So I'm gonna turn towards you just so it's a little bit easier to see. And you're gonna sink down into what we call deep yogi squat. So you're pulling your knees away from each other. In this pose, I just want you to feel your knees move apart and your chest lift up, okay? I'm gonna go back to where I was on the mat just so we can be together. As you press your knees apart, pull your chest forward and lengthen out your spine. Now option one, we're gonna move, we're gonna stay here and maybe just roll the wrist out, okay? You can do circles forward and circles back. Option two, we're gonna go to crow pose, bakasana. So hands out in front of you. Go ahead and straighten your legs. Shift your toes forward. And then my elbows are gonna become my shelves. If you already know crow, shift there slowly. And then we're just gonna notice my big toes are still down and then I'm gonna turn on my hamstrings and pull those heels up to my butt. Good. See if you can stay here, four. You're still in deep yogi squat if this is not available for two. Separate your feet, tap them together. Separate your feet, clap them together. A couple more times, yay! Good, separate those feet, sink down into your hips, and then please fold forward. Nice job. Exhale, we'll go to plank. Optional vinyasa, which means you can just lift your butt and be done in down dog, or join me, lower. Inhale, and exhale. Let's take our right leg to the sky. Exhale, step forward. Lower the back knee slowly down, and then untuck the back toe if you can. So this shouldn't hurt the back kneecap, and if it does, try to see if you can get a little bit more on the thigh bone. Bring your hands up slowly. So pulling out of this lunge makes life a little bit easier. Bending into the lunge is a little bit harder. Raise your arms when you're ready. Good. Take your time here and breathe and feel this left hip flexor, so as thigh stretch. Interweave the fingers, slip the palms, press them to the sky and get long in your torso. Good. Exhale, slowly pull the hands down to heart center. Create a little bit of space. Hook your left arm outside of your right thigh. So this is the harder variation. A little bit easier, upright twist palms together. Good. So as you twist, try not to lay on your leg. Really common thing to do is like connect and lounge, but try to press and lift out of it. Now use your back knee and when you're ready, we're going to curl the toes and pick it up. Good. Use your glutes, squeeze them together, feel your legs working. Pose is not easy, but pose is doable. For three, you can open your arms if you want for two. And then on three, I want everyone to pick up your back knee just for a moment. Transition up, turn your back foot, line up your back, your front heel with your back heel or your back arch of the foot and then sink down warrior two. So as you find warrior two, we bend the knee, we line it up with your middle toe and we start to feel the work and the opening in our legs. This is a hip opener. You're gonna straighten your right leg, flip your palm up, take a nice long stretch back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the earth. And then again, slide this right foot back like we did before, center of the mat, left leg up, standing split. Good. Option one, stay. 
Option two, right hand, right calf muscle. Pull your chest to meet your leg. Option three, both hands. Option four, maybe two hops up. So if you're gonna do that, your arms are straight, your chest is forward, you're gonna bend this knee, hop. Bend this knee, hop. Good. For three, two, wherever you are, let your feet land together. Good, breathe out. Take a nice flat back. Exhale, vinyasa. So that's again, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, or I want you guys to go ahead and just lift your butt, skip it all together to down dog. So whichever one you want. Good. Left leg, reach. Exhale, please step forward. Lower your back knee down. Good. Now, once you feel comfortable here, no pain, no tension, raise your arms up. Get long through your spine and reach. Good. Take your hands, you're gonna interlace them and then flip them up to the sky. Hold. Three. I'm a little bit more sensitive on my right side, definitely had some injury here, so I have to be really careful that I'm using my muscles to not just sink into the joint, but come out of the lunge just a little bit. Hands to heart center, breathe in. Exhale, come out of the lunge slightly so give yourself some more room and then twist. Good. Now, while you're here, slowly and carefully decide if you wanna keep this back knee down or join me, we'll pick it up. If you lose the twist, if you're super wobbly, then just put your knee down, guys, it's still okay. And then stay here or, again, open your arms. You're here for three. Keep breathing for two. Now pick up your back knee, one, two, three, up. Crescent for a breath. And then we open warrior two. Good. So again, heel to arch or heel to heel. Both work, it's fine, all right? Go ahead and settle and hold here. Notice my back foot has a slight angle of turning in, but my whole hip isn't dropping. So be careful of that. It's hard to show you when I was on the other side. Go ahead and straighten your front leg, reverse your work. Get long through your body. Good, exhale, come back. Cartwheel your hands all the way down and then again, take this left foot, slide it to the center of your mat. Raise your right leg up. So we should really feel these hamstrings starting to become part of our practice and they should make your legs feel warm. Hold here. You guys are doing a great job so far, all right? So again, 60 minute practice. If you're new to it, it's definitely hard. Hold the leg, one hand, two hands, or again, we'll hop twice, bending the knee. Coming up, bending your knee, coming up. Good, you're here for three, two, and then slowly come down on one, left foot, left foot and then your right. Exhale, hands behind your legs, fold. This time, let's roll up to stand, and we're gonna come back to the standing twist, but I'm gonna offer you a straight leg option, okay? Right knee in first. Option to twist, right from here like we did before. Otherwise, you're gonna grab the outside of your foot. If you have the room, extend the leg, hold, stand up straight, and then twist. While you're here, find your breath, stand up tall. It's really easy to wanna bend your knee and sink forward. In and out through the nose, you got this for two. Wherever you are, bend the knee. Hands to heart, you've been here before, warrior three pose. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Bring the hands to the ground, big hop with the left foot, back to the mat. Right knee to nose. Good, now stay here and just swing your knee, right? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now swing it right and now watch. Step to the outside of your right hand. It's called lizard pose. 
So my back leg is way behind me, my hands are inside of my foot, my chest is reaching forward, and I can feel this stretch a whole lot in my hips. Breathe in and out, couple breaths here. And then we're gonna take this back leg, slide it back more, and then put your knee down. Good. Now option one, stay option two. I'm gonna start to let this foot open up to the right. Good. Right hand on your thigh, rotate open. Now as you do this, you're gonna feel this hips opening. This right foot is in flexion. Option to stay or to work a little bit into your quad. Take your right arm up and around, grab your foot. This pose is not for everyone because A, this is hard to do to grab your foot. And sometimes my legs just feel so tight, they don't even want to try. So it's okay. Good. Take a deep breath in. Release your foot, bring your arm up and over if you had it. Ground that right foot down. Good. And then pull your chest through. Exhale, curl your back toes, lift your back knee, step back to plank. We'll lower, look forward, lift your chin. So don't drop that head, guys. Chaturanga. Inhale up. Let's come back to plank where we're going to go to side plank, okay? So right hand in the center of the mat, scissor the feet. Feel free to drop your bottom knee and reach up. Tighten up your legs, squeeze and lift. And if you want, you can raise your top left leg. You're here for three. Stay with me for two. Slowly reach overhead, bring that arm down like you just slam it forward and then let's just lift back. Down dog, please. Your choice, step, walk or float forward. So if you are floating again, I want you to think, how can I get there without landing in a low squat but in a forward fold? So bend, keep your tailbone high, float forward and land. Lengthen out your spine. And then again, please fold. Let's stand, reach up. And now let's go left knee to chest for me, okay? So hug it in. Stand tall, squeeze your shoulder blades in. Option one, stay. Option two, twist with a bent knee. Option three, bottom of the foot's gonna go in your hand, you're gonna kick it out. This leg's tighter, so I can't get it straight. And then I'm gonna rotate. Now my goal is to try to move my chest all the way to the left so that I can see myself all the way back here. Stand tall, three, two, and one. Good, bring yourself back through center. Keep that leg elevated nice and tall, pull your belly up and in, and then slowly allow yourself to come down towards the ground. Good, we're gonna take this right foot, one, two, three, jump it back. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. We're gonna go left, right, left, right, left, right. Stay with me, left, right. One more time left, one more time right. Bring it left, step, and pause. Lizard pose, chest forward. Now keep your back knee elevated just for a little bit so you can kind of play in these hips and see what feels good. And then we're gonna lower the knee. So one side of this pose may treat you very different than the other. So listen to your body in that regard. And I want you just to turn your toes out so the foot is in flexion. Place your hand on your hip. You're good. And then if you want, bend your back knee, grab your foot. Good. Twist and hold. Palm faces up, chest is open. And this bottom arm, don't lock it out, okay? Give it some bend. And then on your next breath, reach up and over. Exhale, hold here. Chest moves forward. Good, please curl your back toes and lift your knee. Engage your core, look forward, exhale, step back, plank. Lower chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog. One, two, three, high plank pose, pick it up. 
Left hand's gonna find the center of the mat. Vashti Stasana, it's called side plank, top arm is up. I prefer to scissor my feet just because I feel more stable. It's up to you. If you want, right leg up, three. Stay strong, two. Reach over the head if you want. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then swim it down. Good. Let's lift our hips on our exhale. Please come to down dog. Pause and stay here and just check in with your body. We're about halfway through your practice. So just notice the breath and your movement. Think about how and why you chose to move this morning and your body's response so far. Turn your head right and left, just relax the neck. Good. And we're gonna walk our hands back to our feet. You're gonna take your peace fingers to your big toes. So make peace signs. Put them on the inside of the big toe and the second toe. Thumb on top, bend your elbows and pull your chest down. Good. Get nice and floppy in those arms. From here, we're gonna move into a wide-legged straddle. So you can turn and face me, I'm gonna turn and face you, depending on how you're facing your yoga mat. And then take your time and just slowly, slowly roll up. So your feet are wide. They're about as wide as warrior two. And we're just gonna start to stretch the back of our legs some, working into these wide-legged forward folds. So take your hands out wide, palms face forward, and lean back. And now turn your palms face down so the backs of your hands face me. It's called an internal rotation of the shoulder. And then let your fingers interlace behind the tailbone. Now please slide your hands down your tailbone as you open your chest. And then exhale, hinge forward. Try to keep some weight forward in the foot. So notice my heels, they're not completely rooted. And then slowly fold down. Feel your fists lift up towards the sky versus towards me. So try not to pull it towards your TV, iPad, camera and just breathe. Feel free to turn your head and arms to one side, and then to turn your head and arms to side two. Good, as you come and you fold in center, reach up through those arms one more time. You might feel some tingling in your fingers, very normal. And now bring your hands first down to the low back and then all the way to the ground. Good. Take a nice flat back. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, we're gonna fold forward again. Good, breathing in. Breathing out. Go ahead and turn one of your feet out. Doesn't matter which feet, we're doing both. Bend the knee. Opposite leg, you're gonna bring the heel down, the toes up. It's called skandasana. It's a really challenging deep pose. So if you need to stay here, this is great. Otherwise, heel down if possible, heel down. This foot's harder for me to keep the heel down and then maybe the hands come to the heart. Again, doesn't matter if you're moving this way or that way. We're just gonna make sure we do both sides. Take one more breath here. Exhale, come through center. And then do the second side. So again, does not matter which leg you did because we're doing both. And you're just sinking down, bending and breathing. And again, I can get this heel down really easily. On this side, much different sensation, the bottom of my foot and through my legs as well. Take one more full breath in. Good. And then again, just feel your legs stretch. If it doesn't feel good, then stay higher. Come back through center for me. So come into that wide-legged fold. Exhale, breathe out here. Good, inhale, take your time. Press down into your legs, bring your hands to your hips slowly. Come up through standing, and then we're gonna turn our toes out to 10 o'clock and two o'clock, which is called goddess pose, okay? So place your hands on your thighs as your legs start to open and just move your hips a little bit side to side. So it's much easier to keep your hands on your thighs, so if you can, bring them to your heart center. Sink down into those hips, lift your toes, feel the work in those inner thighs, don't let them drop in, pull them apart, you're here for three. Two, and then on one, straighten your legs for me. Let's find the top of our mat, so please step your feet together. Inhale, bring your arms up to the sky. 
and then exhale, we're gonna fold forward. Inhale, take a flat back. Exhale, you're gonna step your left foot back. Turn your heel down, come up to warrior two pose. Again, you've been here, straighten the front leg, get a nice long reverse warrior. And then as we bend our right knee, you're either gonna take your forearm to your thigh, so side angle here, or your right hand inside or outside, I'm gonna go inside today, of your foot. Connect your back of your right arm, your tricep to that inner thigh. It would be your bicep if it's on the outside, and reach up. Lengthen and then use this back leg, really press through your back foot, and lengthen out of this pose to get nice and long. You're welcome to move into a half bind where you bend your elbow and you can hold on to your leg, or a full bind where you feed the arm underneath the leg so the hands clasp. Make sure you're leaning back the whole time. It's not folding inside of the leg. You're here for three, two. Now, if you're in your bind, you're going to return to your pose fully and then come back up to warrior two. Good, keep this knee bent, it's burning, I know. Reach up, cartwheel your hands down to the ground. Three-legged downward facing dog, so that right leg is gonna come up. Take a big breath in for me. And now bend your knee and open up your hip. So this pose should feel nice. If you know how to flip your dog, join me. We're gonna stay on our mats. I'm gonna rotate my feet to the back of the room. So twisting towards the back of my mat, my hips are gonna come up. Good, this feels good for my body. If it doesn't feel good for you, please don't do it. Not necessary. Come back around. Everybody high plank for me. Feet grounded, lower, press up, and press back. Good work, guys. Take your time, look forward, bend your knees, step or float forward. Halfway lift, and fold. Right foot, step it back. Turn your toes out. We're gonna come up, warrior two. So it's different entering poses sometimes from the front or back of the mat. You'll notice which ones you prefer or don't prefer. Sometimes you like stepping forward, sometimes not. Good, this is the end of, this, end of the standing series, guys. So just stay with me, you're almost done. Straighten the leg, reverse. Exhale, bend your knee. So as we move towards that angle pose again, forearm to thigh is step one. Shoulder stack, we lean back. Hand to inside of foot is step two. You can also move it outside. Again, I'm gonna stay on the inside, that's way down the first side, and then just reach. So the whole time you can pick a pose, stay in it, and not move anymore, just make sure you're breathing. From here, we are welcome to half bind your top arm. Maybe grab the top of your hip, so you can see I'm holding my thigh. Or grab your foot. Now you don't lean in, to grab your foot, okay? You keep your spine pulled back and then you feed your arm under. And that's how the hands clasp, not by folding forward. So everyone take that head, pull it back. Notice my heads are headed towards the railing on my stairs. You're here for three, look down, look towards me or look up, two. And then just unwind wherever you are. So you might stay, or you may be with me unwinding. Come back up through warrior two. Keep the knee bent, reverse. Exhale, cargo your hands down to the earth. Good, one, two, three, three-legged dog, reach up. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Take your heel, push it down. Stay here or flip, we're gonna go one foot, second foot, and I'm gonna reach overhead. Good. Exhale, come back around. Everybody high plank, strong chaturanga. Inhale up and then exhale. Let's take child's pose for the first time in a while. So hips to heels, option one, child's pose, or I kind of like to rest here sometimes in Thunderbolt, just kind of sitting with my legs together, back on my heels and breathing. It's a good time if you want to grab some water too, which I'm gonna do because moving and talking gets you a little tired. Wherever you are, either in child's pose or thunderbolt, just rest your hands, rest your eyes, and pause for a second. And be with your body.
Take one more breath wherever you are. And then we'll meet with our forearms on the earth. Palms together, elbows facing our knees. So just like this. Curl your toes, lift your bum. Good. Exhale forward into a dolphin push up and then bring it back. Let's do four more of those. One, bring it back. Two, bring it back. Last two, three, bring it back. One more, bring it back and hold. Good, really push yourself away from the ground here. You got three, two, and then on one, put your knees down, straighten those arms, go right into cow, and then right into cat. I want you to take your right arm to the sky, open it up, make a fist, roll your wrist around, release any tension in your wrist, and then exhale, please thread your arm through. You're gonna try to keep your hips in line over your knees if possible. And then I want you to take this left arm and either put it behind your back or I like to reach my arm over my head. If you're fancy, you're gonna take your left leg back and extend the leg. Good. If you're real fancy, you can curl your right toes and then raise your left leg up if you're not gonna fall, which I almost did. Good. Knees together. Left foot or left hand in line, right arm up. And release. Left side. Let's go ahead and inhale. Reach it up, please. Make a fist, roll your wrists out. Good. Exhale, thread it through. Keep your hips over your knees, booty to the sky, low back faces the sky. Take that arm behind the back or again overhead. Stay here or curl your back toes, press back. Stay here or lift your leg up. This is hard, you might flip over and surprise yourself. Good, three, two, knees together. If they're not, right hand in place. If it's not, inhale, press, reach up, and then come back to center. Good, I want you to walk your hands forward, curl your toes, lift your knees, plank pose, hold here. Five breaths before we lay down on our stomachs. Breathe through your nose, try to close your lips the whole time. Four more breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale, three. One more, you got this, stay with me. One more breath in. Exhale, lower for four. Good. From here, I want you to take your time and then allow your legs to move towards each other. Tops of your feet down and then extend your arms back. So we did a very early locust pose, but it was a very simple movement. This time you have a little bit more room. So when you're ready, go ahead and pick up your face. Don't look up because that compresses your neck. Tuck your chin and then raise your legs if you want to. Use your fingertips or reach your arms back, palms face down or they face you. Good, again, you should be able to have a conversation in this pose, breathe softly. So if you feel like you're constricting your breath, slow down or lower. Take one more big inhale, flip your palms so the palms are up, drop the ear and rest. Good, big breath out. From this position, bend your knees, Wag your feet from side to side for me. Keep doing that as you turn your head to side two and just stretch and breathe. Good, from this pose, I want you to release your hands down. Take your hands under your armpits, either come up through a baby cobra pose or a high cobra, bhujangasana, chest is up. Good, and I'm gonna have you flip right over onto a seat. So bring your tailbone down. From here, we're gonna move towards a little bit of back bending. So as you come down, bring those feet towards your tailbone and bring your head down. I want you guys to make sure that you cannot touch your heels. It shortens your hamstrings and gives you less space. From here, I'm gonna take the back of my shoulders, pull them down, press down into my palms, and then slowly elevate my hips up 
activating my quads, pressing them towards the sky, pushing my shins and my knees forward towards the wall, and then my glutes are engaged. Good, stay to Bandasana bridge pose. This might be your stopping point, or this just may not feel good at all for your body. Try to really tuck the pelvis a little bit here so that the ribs aren't popping out, especially up top. And then I want you to lower the upper back, the low back, the tailbone, and then your full bottom. Option one, you're done, you're good, no more back bending, you rest right here. Option two, you're gonna inhale your arms up to the sky. You're gonna exhale your hands behind your head. Now, if you don't have a normal practice doing this with back bends, so now's not the time, because I'm not really directly teaching you how to do it, just talking you through it. Otherwise, hips up, so join me either in bridge pose, resting, or as we press, we bring the head up. What's important is if you notice my feet, they never moved from their current position. And I'm pressing and reaching. Maybe I bring them in, but I definitely don't wanna bring them further apart. Take one more full breath in, reach and lengthen your torso. And then if you're up with me, we're gonna slowly lower. We're gonna allow ourselves to feel our head tuck and roll. Everyone who's in bridge is still there. Arms are up, guys, bring them up, up, up and then bring your hips down and your hands down. Everybody, heel toe your feet apart, knees together. This should kind of reset and allow you to breathe. Nice. Now open your knees apart. Feet are still as wide as your mat. Drop your knees right. Drop your knees left. And again, drop them right and drop them left. Good, come through center. Bring your knees to your chest, hold the back of those legs, and then from here you can really start to press down into the lumbar spine, the sacrum, the low back. Exhale, one big rock, we're in seated. So you'll notice this vinyasa practice kind of really just ran you through a bunch of poses, helped you move. Again, vinyasa means to flow. More classes this week in the coming weeks and however long this takes will definitely allow you some time to, you know, work more specifically into certain poses. Right leg is long, left foot meets your inner thigh, reach your right leg out. And then slowly and carefully, we're gonna twist actually towards this bent knee. So I'm gonna bring my right hand outside of my left knee and my, place my left fingertips behind me to twist. Keep your head right over your shoulders and then rotate, turn your chin. From here, I'm gonna hold on to my knee with my hand, lean my shoulder into my thigh, and then look at my back arm. It's kind of ready, it's figuring out where it wants to go. It's gonna reach up and over. So option one, it's gonna stay here. Option two, you might hold your low back because that's where that stretch is. Option three, we're gonna find our foot on the pinky toe side of it. The goal is that my head were underneath this arm, but I don't have that flexibility in my back. So this is okay. Take another big breath in here. Take your time, reach up. And now turn your body so that it faces the right leg. And then you're gonna fold over the right leg for a hamstring stretch. It's called Janya Shishasana A. And then just bow forward. If you notice that you became more distracted at home practicing, figure out kind of the environment you've chosen you're practicing and if you can change that for a little bit less distraction next time. Something to think about will help you. I know for me it's definitely hard when I'm doing a video at home. Obviously when I'm filming it's pretty easy to pretend like you guys are talking to me and with me the whole time. Switch your feet. And now we're going to twist towards the right knee. Left hand outside the leg please. Right hand behind you. Rotate. Good. Flexion through this left foot. Now let your knee, or your, excuse me, your shoulder reach for your knee and your right arm's gonna come up. Now this side's much tighter for me, so this is my stopping point. There's no foot grabbing on this side and I can just feel this large pull in my back. And that's okay. Just kind of acknowledging how it feels. Turn your left ear to your left leg if you can. And then take your time, come up, let your hand release behind you. And now we're gonna turn our torso so that it faces this left leg. You're gonna inhale your arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. 
So as we come towards the end of practice, notice how warm your body got, whether you had your space heater, your layers or not. I went for a run before this with Minnie, so my body was really warm when I got started. And now it's kind of cooled off, but it still feels good. I'm at a good temperature. My body feels like it worked. And then when you're ready, slowly come up. Please extend both legs forward in front of you and just kind of give them a shake out. And then we're gonna take the bottoms of those feet to touch, which is called bound angle pose. You're gonna sit up nice and tall, lengthen out your spine, and then on your exhale, please come forward. Good. Acknowledge that you can press down through your tailbone as your knees spread apart. So you should feel this a whole lot through the outer part of the hip. So piriformis, glute, knee, that nice stretch back here. And then one day, your eyeballs and your toes can play together if you're, you know, maybe way up here. Take one more big breath in. And then exhale as you come up, take your time. We're gonna bring those feet out in front of us, bring our tailbone forward, and then please slowly lay down onto your back. Once we arrive on our back, I want you to go ahead and reach both legs long, one leg and then the other, and then reach both arms long over your head. Exhale the right knee to the chest, so as the thigh comes to the stomach, hug it in tight and roll your ankle around. Good. Exhale, we're gonna bring this knee across the body into a spinal twist, so take your hips, bump them a little bit to the right, so I just moved my hips towards mini, and then I twisted. My hand is on the outside of my thigh. You can leave it there or do something else with it. It's up to you. Spinal twist you can stay in for, you know, even up to two minutes. It's a nice relaxing pose, especially if you have props to kind of help your legs stay elevated or your shoulder. And then take your time. You're going to allow yourself to come back through center really slowly. Use your feet to help you bump your hips back to level. And then as you pull your left knee in, your right leg's going to go long. Roll your left ankle around. Good. Exhale. Take your right hand across the thigh. Take your hips. Move them to the left. And then twist. As you twist here again, I want you to feel that length that's happening in your low back the space in your ribs, maybe a bit, little bit better place where your digestive system feels like it's awake, it's ready to move. Even the oxygen in your body, your lungs, finding more and more space, ridding your body of toxins and anything else that it doesn't feel like it enjoys right now. Maybe stress, right? Let's slowly come back to center, hug the knee in as we do. Use the right foot to help us, use the left foot to help us. And then from there, I want you guys to give both your knees a big hug. We're going to close practice laying in Shavasana for about a minute. So I know some of you only lay in Shavasana because it's weird to get up during it in class. So do your best. Just lay here with me for one minute. Your toes fall out. Your heels roll in. Your hips open. Your palms are facing up. Or if you prefer, leave your elbows on the ground and put your hands on your belly and your heart. You can count your breath. Maybe you breathe in for a count. You breathe out for a count. Maybe you send whatever kind of positive energy you can find from the scenario of where we are in life right now. And you can share that with someone around you. this silence, the asana, the movement, so those are your poses, that's what brings us into this stillness and the silence. They say it what prepares you to be able to sit in silence and stillness and just be. I want you to inhale, slowly move your body. 
Exhale as you pull your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And remember, you can always come back to Shavasana once this live stream is ended. So feel free to do that or you can move towards one of my kind of meditation videos or something else you wish. Come on up. Please feel free to sit cross-legged facing me as we close here. It's called Sukhasana, easy pose, hands to heart center. I hope you find you're happy today and I appreciate you guys practicing with me as we bow forward, namaste. Congratulations on completing your St. Patrick's Day hour flow. I'll be offering more IG live, so Instagram live, as well as YouTube live classes. So that way you can schedule them into your day throughout this time that we're at home and our studios and gyms are currently closed, as well as online personal training and other things like that. My request for you to help me during this time is to please share my YouTube channel, to please subscribe and to allow yourself to just be with what's happening. So thank you guys again. Have a wonderful day and happy St. Patrick's Day. Please comment below with any questions or feel free to shoot me an email. It's my name at Gmail. Thank you.